hi welcome back to another video on FTA Excel Master and in today's Excel video we are going to solve a query which has been asked by one of our subscribers and that is a really interesting question so we have seen in our previous video that how can we get the top end values just by simply entering the value which we needed but what about if we have a filter criteria over here as France then we need to have only the filter value of France which are the top 5 and let us change it over here to 3 so we got top 3 values in France now let us change our country to India we got the country of top 3 values in India and to solve this problem as usual I'm going to invite my friend Farad please take over the stage wow that's a wonderful question my friends Thank you so much for asking and let us build the solution together. The first thing which we'll be doing that we'll be creating the logic of trues and false and that same logic we are going to copy and paste it into the filter function so that can filter the information as per the country wise. So let us select a country which is India over here and for the better understanding purpose I'll be just showing the formula step by step. So we know how the logic is going to build. So I will first say that equals to my sales country is equal to India. So that will generate me series of trues and false. But unfortunately we got a spill error over here. Nothing to worry because Excel table doesn't support dynamic arrays. So we are just going to do undo. So we got these trues and false. So wherever we have selected India, we are getting trues. So let us change a country which is France and place of France we got the true values so as we know in Excel the value of false is 0 and true is 1 we are simply going to multiply this value with the sales amount here we go multiply by the sales amount over here enter and we got our values over here this is what we need and let me show you the most interesting part now now we are just simply going to take this data this is our logic, the array which we have it over here, control X and we are just simply going to say large, open parentheses and we are going to paste that logic which is nothing but our array values, comma and the K value is the top end value which is 3 and close parentheses, enter, we got the third largest value now. Now this third largest value we are going to compare it with the entire sales column which should be less than or equal to the entire sales column over here and we'll hit enter wonderful now we got the trues and falls for every amount but remember the large value for the France which we have calculated earlier basically we are comparing the France values with the entire column so that's the reason we are getting trues even for India Saudi Arabia Nepal but there is nothing to worry one simple construction of the formula will change the game. So we will go over here and just put it into the parentheses so we don't make any mistake. Multiply. I am again going to select the sales country is equal to France. Close parentheses. Enter. This is the information we are looking. So top 1, top 2 and top 3. Now let us copy this formula and paste it into the filter function control x equals to filter and my array is my sales table comma the entire range of the sales and the logic is the one which we have constructed right now comma and if it is empty we'll say no data wonderful wonderful let us sort it by descending orders of their values using the sort function again we'll go over here and say sort and sort and the construction of the formula ends over here that's my array sort index is number three because we are going to sort it by the sales amount comma and descending number close parentheses enter so we have this amazing looking results now just for the country France let us change the country to England we have the top value for England and the top three values in the England. This is amazing, my friend. Let's change another country to Nepal. 
and let's go back and see Saudi Arabia. Wow. Now let us copy this formula what we have constructed and nest it into this formula. Let me show it to you how we can do it. So let's copy this, control X, let's move it out from here. We will go over here and we are going to just write a simple logic. We'll say equals to if is blank is my country, if it is true, then you can just construct this formula and give me the results. If the value is false, then just simply give me the formula which I have constructed right now. Close parentheses, enter, boom. Let me remove the country now. Hey man, this is working great. Yeah, you see that? Robert, can you see that? Wow. So that's how you're going to filter the category. Wow, that was really something new stuff I got to learn today. And that was super amazing. Make sure that you hit the like button Share this video, subscribe to our channel and don't forget to hit that bell icon for the latest updates. So stay tuned and we will be seeing you soon in the next video. Till then, take care. Bye.